Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I haven't done this in so freaking long, but I have wanted to do this for a while and I'm gonna be doing a palette roulette. And I don't wanna just do any palette roulette, I want to do a super colorful palette roulette. So what I did is I took this app, it's called Decide Now if you wanna try it yourself. It is completely free and I put in here all of my colorful palettes. I'm gonna spin the wheel, whatever palette it lands on, I have to use as many colors from that palette as possible. So this is really something to push me outside of my comfort zone because I have a tendency to open up a palette and I'll go, great, I can't wait to try this whole thing. And then I'll use like two colors, maybe three colors on a really crazy day, maybe four colors. But I wanna to try to use as many colors within these palettes as I can. My only real caveat is that if I pick a palette that is all mattes, I do think that I wanna probably use one shimmer from somewhere else. So I will still use as many colors in that palette as possible, but I might also bring in a shimmer or a glitter, something like that, just something to sparkle it up a little bit. I know you can do all matte looks, but I prefer for there to be like a little bit of glow in there. So I am really excited. I'm actually like a little bit nervous because I have just, I haven't really just played with makeup in so long where I just kind of let myself be completely creative. Like even though I've gotten some new palettes this year, I still haven't gone like balls to the wall, so that's what I wanna do. But if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Linda. I am a cruelty-free beauty YouTuber. I always wanna help you decide whether or not makeup, skincare, hair care products are worth your money, whether they're drugstore priced or luxury high-end. I just want you to spend your money wisely. But also, this year, 2022, I'm doing my very first low buy year. So I'm trying to be really careful and cognizant about what I bring into my collection, making sure that it's something that's really special and I'm not just collecting for the sake of collecting, but also something that today's video is going to help me accomplish is that I want to focus on using the good stuff. So, so often I put stuff aside and I'm like, I don't wanna use that too much because it's amazing and what if it's discontinued or sold out or what if I can never get it again? I just need to save it. No, I just wanna use the good stuff. So if you're into that as you're watching this video, I would love if you'd subscribe and become a part of the Rockstar fam. But yeah, let's just get right into this. Again, like I'm a little bit nervous because this is gonna push like my creativity limits, but we shall see. Also, I used to do little French braided pigtails all the time but I've never done it since I got like my shag haircut like a year ago. So I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I think the bangs are throwing me off, but you know what? It is what it is. And this is, this is what we're going with today. We are in fact Pippi Longstocking and it is scrubbing day. Scrubbing day is a holiday. Okay, ready? Mm, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Where are we stopping? What does that even say? We are going with the Adept and Heather Austin palette. This is a new one, but I love it. And they just did a restock. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, and I did just check. Today is May 8th and it is still available as of the time I'm filming this on May 8th. You're watching this or I'm posting this on May 9th. So hopefully it's still available for you. But if you haven't seen this palette, it is this gorgeous multi-chrome, duo-chrome palette where all of these shades have such an amazing shift to them. And when I did a look with this, I stuck, I think, to these three colors. Maybe I used a dash of this, but I'm gonna try to use a bunch of these purples today. And there are there is a, um, a matte purple in here, so I'm gonna use that in the crease. I might, oh, I'm trying so hard not to grab another palette, but I want something to blend this out with, like a lighter matte color. But for now, I'm gonna try to use this. I'm gonna try to use Passport Scrubs I'm gonna to try to use a ton of these colors. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, let's get going. All right, I'm gonna start with PA02. It is this dark, beautiful purple color. And this is gonna go concentrated in the crease. I already do have, obviously I have foundation on, I also have contour, but I also have an eyeshadow base. And I'm gonna put this dark color down first because I really want this to be super deep and I'm gonna put this on the outer edge here. Like, look at that, that is one dip into the pan and now this is the second dip. But like, it gets so deep immediately. This palette is amazing. And then I'm going to put this throughout the crease and I'll blend this out later. This is gonna be one of those looks that looks crazy before it looks good. Also, I talked about this in my recent Amazon Favorites video, but I'm using my lit up Koki mirror 
This really is the greatest mirror ever. I love it. I love it. I still love my big vanity mirror that I use on my van, like on my desk, but I also love my high mirror, which is the super interactive one that I have. Um, but this mirror for just like my everyday makeup, it's just so damn convenient. All right, that's, that's bright. I'm just going to blend this out a tiny bit with this brush. I think I am going to probably grab one other color from another palette just to blend this out even more. So yeah, I'm going to try this. I hope this isn't a mistake, but I'm going into Spooky from the Shroud um, slash Strobe. Um, it's freaking Bats, Butte Bean slash Betty Jean palette. And I'm just going to take that and very lightly put that on the edges here. It's going to give it a blue tinge, but I hope it'll blend it out as well. I'm just going to take my time. Again, I wonder if it's one of those things that's going to look worse before it looks better. This is definitely a much brighter shade than I remembered, and I hope I don't have to take the whole thing off. But if this is a fail, I'll still leave it up because makeup isn't perfect at all times. But you know what? I'm convinced we will make this work. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to start with 0603 and then go into Hey Y'all and then Scrubs on the lid and then put Passport on that inner corner. This is a lot more colors than I'm used to using, but you know what? We're doing this together, friends. We're doing this together. So starting with 0603, and I normally like to place these shadows using my finger, but this is such a small little area right in this inner corner, so it's like silver shifty purple so cool okay then next i'm gonna go into hey y'all and i am gonna take my finger so you can see look how metallic these are so incredibly metallic this is going right in the center of the lid this is so metallic wow and finally, I'm going into scrubs. Look at that. I, I have never seen shadows like these in my life. So this is going on the outer edge, blending both with Hey Y'all and that dark outer color. This color is crazy because it almost feels wet when you're using it, but it just makes the color like, oh my God, that blue pops so cool. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, that's so rad. <laughs> Am I looking like a bruise right now? We're gonna make it work. Okay, wow. Choices were made, choices. And you know what? I'm gonna continue to make choices because I wanna see what we can do with this. So I want to go with Mythology and Magnolia on the bottom, cause why not? I'm gonna go Magnolia real close to the lash line and Mythology, I'm just gonna kinda use that to blow it out a little bit. You know what? It's just makeup. It is just makeup and that's the whole thing I wanted to do today. I just wanted to play with makeup cause it's been so long. Okay, so again, I'm taking Magnolia very close to the lash line here. I actually kind of dig the pop that makes, and don't worry, I'm blending it out. And then Mythology, which is this kind of almost neon yellowy green. I'm just going to use that to blend this out and blow it out a little bit. Choices were made. Choice, choice, choices. All right, and now I want to do the inner corner real quick. I'm taking Passport, which is this really pretty, like shimmery white purple, popping that on the inner corner. I'm gonna use my pinky. There we go. Now you can see it. Okay, I know it looks a little nuts right now, but in this palette, I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I used seven eyeshadows. <laughs> Seven. That is so unlike me. I'm going to hop off camera real quick and I want to do my lashes and liner and I'll be right back and we can finish the rest of the face. All right, so here is the finished eye look. I think you can see there's so much of a shift in color in these. I still, I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's because, again, I'm not used to seeing myself in blues and purples, but at the same time, like, this is so shifty and I added these little rhinestones and you guys, I'm wearing fake lashes. Stop the presses, I'm wearing fake lashes, it's a big deal. So what should I use for blush? I think I actually want to use this pink or do I want to use this pink? Maybe I'll do a mixture of, no, I'm not gonna use the hot, hot pink. Who am I kidding over here? 
I'm going to go ahead and use Vita. This is the Melt Amore y Mariposas collection. I just want a nice rosy cheek there. Okay, look, I'm taking a tiny bit. Oh my God, that's too much. A floor. This is that fluorescent hot pink and I'm adding a tiny bit of it just to really get that going. Just, I'm barely dabbing it on my cheeks. And then with a clean brush, I'm just gonna blend that out. So before I do lips, I do wanna do some highlighter. I feel like this calls for a good highlighter and I just got this in the mail and I really wanna try it. So this is the Ofra Starlight Collection. They just came out with liquid highlighters. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Look how pretty. So I feel like, do I want to go with this gold? No, I think that's going to be a little too deep. How about this guy? Yeah, let's try this one. So this color is called Monroe. These are big bottles. This is a fluid ounce. So this is like the size of a foundation. And I do like that it comes in a pump. So I'm going to try to just apply this with my finger to start. There we go. I just took a very little bit to start. And I'm gonna dab that between my fingers. Oh, this looks nice. This looks like light reflective, but not too much. I'm just gonna dab that at first. This is a lot. You don't need a lot. I used maybe half a pump and I think that was plenty, like more than enough for both cheeks. Oh, that's a pretty glow though. A little bit on the tip of my nose, how cute. Wow, I would love to see these mixed with foundation. Do you see that? Whoa, ooh, that's like, I like that. I like, okay, and this color again, this is Monroe. So it's like a goldy champagne color. What do I do for lip? It's funny, part of me is like, just go for like a purple lip, straight purple. And why not? You can always take it off, right? Let's try a purple lip first. You guys, this is a look and I don't know, I don't know, I, I, <laughs> I got it on my teeth. So it turns out I don't have a proper like purple lipstick. So what I did is I took a black liquid lipstick and I put this stuff on top. This is so old and I have to admit it's probably expired. This is an old like Kat Von D product from when it was Kat Von D before it was KVD and KVD Vegan Beauty and all that. This is the Glimmer Veils, right? And this is, yeah, Glimmer Veils. And this is the one in Televator. So it's like really purple. How are we feeling about this? I don't know. I kind of dig this for like editorial look type thing. Like it's definitely a moment, it's a vibe, it's like a spooky little moment. But what if I took this off and what if I did a pinkish lip instead to match my cheeks, like a much more neutral glossy pink lip. Let's try that. All right, we are left with a much more neutral look with this lip. I'm still not sure, I don't know what lip goes with it. I think it's just that I am so used to warm toned brown looks, warm toned golds and shimmers, uh, you know, that are bronzy and things like that. So when I apply like this kind of bold purpley blue eye and like a kind of cool toned pink lip, I think it's just throwing me off. But at the same time, like I'm pretty happy with the application of it all, if I'm being honest. And I am not a makeup artist. I never claimed to be a makeup artist, but I just love having fun with makeup. And I feel like this is a good experiment that I really wanna do more often. Let me know if you guys would like to see it. If not, I can just do this myself. I can do it on my Instagram and just have fun with it. But like, I just really like the idea of appreciating what's in my collection now. And it's not that I didn't appreciate these items before, but like, this really gives me a chance to play with stuff and give you a second impression. This palette, I still absolutely adore this. Every single shade performs like a dream. And I think I do like that touch of the blue above it that I used from the It's Freaking Bats palette. So that's it. Please let me know down below. What do you think? Is this something that you would do? Um, again, the app is called Decide Now. Everything's going to be in the description box down below for you as well as links to everything I use today. If you do decide that you'd like to purchase any of these items and you shop through those links, I really, really appreciate it. Those are my personal links and it really helps out my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all glitter fallout. And as always and forever, you. Look, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking to you. You are super freaking rock stars and I love you so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.